All right. Hey, hi, I'm Kadir, Kadir Topal from uh, Duisburg in Germany, and I'm the IPFS Growth and Product Development Lead. And um, if you can go to the next slide, in November uh, 2020 now, uh, we asked IPFS community, the IPFS community, and that includes um, uh, people at Protocol Labs, uh, we asked them to propose uh, themes for us to focus on in 2021. We wanted to hear from the community and uh, the community really delivered. Um, it's been pretty incredible to see the breadth and depth of the proposals and the passion of those who advocated for them and argued for those proposals. Uh, so many, many thanks to everyone uh, who has contributed. The feedback has really blown us away. Um, so now we wanted to give a quick update on the whole process. Uh, so David and I will talk a little bit about what um, what happened, <laughs> uh, what's currently uh, in progress, and what to look forward to. So this will be a bit of a short update, and then we'll hopefully give you a bigger one on the next meetup. Uh, next slide, please. All right. Uh, so uh, as I just said, we the first part of this was really reaching out uh, to the community and being really broad in uh, what we asked, what what, uh, what we uh, consider as, as our focus for 2021. Um, so that, that part is, is done now. And uh, we have, um, and we've already moved on to analyzing that content, that, that feedback um, to first identify a couple of questions that we need to answer um, regardless of, of the focus area. So things that cut across a bunch of different um, proposals. So we've identified those questions and have worked on uh, trying to get answers to those questions. Um, another thing that we've done is uh, we've looked at um, initiatives that we might prioritize regardless of the focus area. And we'll I'll, I'll come back to those later, but there are things that uh, we would do uh, regardless of which item we pick or which themes we pick to work on. So there are, there are of course, things that are ongoing, but there are also things that we know we want to improve. Um, and uh, so we, we've uh, started prioritizing those initiatives as well. And then um, as, as a part of this, uh, I know the IPFS version one was already one of the themes and one of the proposals, uh, but of course, um, it, it includes IPFS version one can include a lot of the uh, proposed items. Um, and so what we have started uh, working on, and this is one of those key questions is what would, what would an IPFS version one look like? Uh, what would be a part of it? And what would be, what would it entail uh, aside from just um, from code changes? Um, so those are some of the things that we have already started looking into. And um, I'll let David talk a little bit about what we are currently working on. Awesome, thank you, Kadir. I'm David, nice to meet you all who, uh, who I haven't met yet. Um, and I'm, I'm located in, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, so it is pretty pleasant weather. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, so um, just to, to talk through what's going on right now, I know uh, we're already almost a month into 2021 and uh, we're, we're looking to nail down what the, the project's plan for the year is uh, and, and help share that with you all and get feedback on, on what that is. So um, right now we're exploring some use cases uh, where, you know, there, there's so many cool things that were suggested by the community, oh, so many directions we could head um, to help narrow that down. Um, having a few use cases in mind to to actually work towards uh, getting um, fit between some sort of market and, and what IPFS brings to the table um, well, what is, is a great way to narrow things down. It moves the ball in other ways where across many different use cases, you can see improvements and uh, trying to figure out what that set looks like um, to focus our efforts in 2021 is, is a goal right now. Um, a, as a part of this, once we have some use cases in mind, especially taking the well, the working set of requirements for IPFS v1 and refining what those are, kind of narrowing the scope as much as possible because there's so many different ways it can go. And then uh, getting feedback from everyone in the community, sharing that with you all and, and coming to a consensus on 
what that looks like, uh, another uh, key part of this. And then um, from there, we can really sift through and determine the priority areas to tackle in 2021. And uh, a key part of this is figuring out how to do so. So again, and there's so many cool ideas that were proposed by the community and uh, it's, Oh, it's kind of like efficiency is of the essence up front in 2021. We want to work on the things that kind of unlocks the ability for everyone in the community to, to focus on the areas and, and help contribute in ways that are most helpful for, for the way they're using IPFS. And, um, you know, how do we do that? And uh, how, how do we unblock and unlock uh, the full potential of the community? Uh, that's also very much top of mind for us. So, um, like Kadir mentioned, uh, a lot of exciting stuff going on and, uh, you know, stay tuned. Uh, we should have uh, very tangible stuff for you all soon. Uh, Kadir, throwing it back to you. Thank you, David. Um, let's go to the next slide. So, yeah, let's talk a little bit about what to expect. Uh, what can you expect from here? Um, so, as David said, we've already started looking into narrowing the focus a little bit. Um, and uh, one, one thing that we have seen is that the proposals have uncovered opportunities um, for, for so many different audiences. And um, of course, one thing we already know is that we're not going to focus on just one single audience uh, in, in 2021. We'll hopefully be able to offer something that actually addresses many different audiences across different use cases. And um, one part of that, one way to actually achieve that, um, that we are uh, seriously looking into at this point is um, making IPFS uh, more modular uh, so that you can um, contribute to parts more easily, but also use parts of IPS, uh, IPFS more easily that are more relevant to you. Um, so the idea is that um, we structure IPFS in a way that makes it easier um, to push the things forward that uh, people at Protocol Labs, people in the community really care about, where it makes sense for them. And IPFS as a library is, is one thing that we are seriously looking into to make that possible. Because yeah, it's, from all the proposals, it's clear there are so many different audiences and um, Protocol Labs on its own isn't going to be able to uh, address every single one of them. Um, we, we have to somewhat prioritize, but this is, this is, a, this is one way we can actually um, uh, open up the opportunity uh, for people who really care about certain things um, to to move forward on them, to push them forward, uh, for 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 us not to be the bottleneck to those things. So that's something that you can look forward to. Another thing um, I mentioned this at the beginning is there are things we know we want to make better. Um, and that's regardless of, of the uh, focus area that we choose. There are things around um, the observability, around performance, around um, uh, docs, and the whole developer experience uh, that we know are um, currently not as good as they could be and uh, that um, are um, uh, areas where we definitely could do better. And those are things that we do want to improve on regardless of um, the uh, 2021 focus area. Um, so we've started prioritizing some of those. A lot of those came out of the uh, proposal process. And um, uh, so that, that's something that you can expect to happen regardless of uh, what we focus on. Um, and then um, as, as David said, we're currently right in the middle of some of those things, uh, which means that there will be an update um, and hopefully soon, but I uh, expect uh, the next update in the next IPFS meetup, where we'll hopefully be able to talk more confidently about um, the path uh, that we would like to prioritize uh, across um, the proposals that have come in and the feedback that we have and the conversation that we've had in the meantime. And then hopefully we'll be able to present something um, that, that's a little bit more long-term. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's going to be um, our next update.